At a red light. No, we're going to go. Oh, yeah, me go. 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 Switch your room. Oh. I've got no transmission tunnel in, so I can just, if I want to touch your leg with oh. my leg, I can do that. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. You ready? You ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Hello, Electroheads! Hello, Electroheads! Welcome to rainy, windy, cloudy, horrible Cambridge. Cambridge, very nice. The weather, rubbish. Rubbish country, this, Cole, isn't it? Why would you live here? Why do we live here? Why, why was I born here? Anyway, it's an exciting day. We have driven up to Cambridge for an all of 45 minute drive of this new electric Fiat 500. Oh yes! Mate, I'm so gassed. We wouldn't usually travel for 45 minutes with a car. We'd usually say, don't worry, we'll wait until there's a chance to have more time with it. But this car, we just wanted to get in it as soon as possible because this is definitely one of the most exciting new EVs of the year. On paper, it's now the king of value for money city cars. It wipes the floor with the Mini, Electric and the Honda E, two cars that we love. But the other thing that's quite exciting about this today, Cole, is that this is potentially your new car. You're thinking about getting one of these. I actually am, mate. And just to fill in the audience in sure. case they don't know, I am a notoriously recovering petrol head, as the electroheads like to call me. I haven't even considered getting an electric car until very recently when I realized I need something to commute in. I can't be using my car, which we should probably not mention what that is. Let's just leave it at saying it's a big honking V8 and it inhales petrol. Yes. Like there's no tomorrow. Yes. The time will come where if somebody says I have a V8, they will look at you and think, you disgusting yeah. pig. We're not there yet, luckily. So I think I get away with it. Mm. But I do need something like this. And when I saw this on the press release, it ticked a lot of boxes. I've been looking forward to having a go in this thing for a really long time. I think this is the first opportunity to drive it in the UK, so we're very lucky to be here today, even if it's just 45 minutes. I think what we should do first, find somewhere to park up, do a little walkie roundy of the outside, because there's a lot to talk about style-wise. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, welcome to the world's fastest walk around of the new Fiat 500 electric. One take. What happens, happens. First of all, it's still a 500, isn't it? It's modern, but it's unmistakably a Fiat 500. I like what they've done here. They've taken the classic 500 styling cue and they've made it all futury. Coming around the side, 19 inch wheels for this top spec model. I think you're down to 15 inches on the base car, but they're quite. 17 inches. These are 17s. What are I, oh yeah, they're definitely not 19s. 17 inch wheels. This is going well so far. Around the side. It's very blue, quite pearlescent coloured. Uh, not for me, I'd have that colour over there. Look at that one, that's nice, isn't it? But you know, whatever bites your biscuit, that's not an expression. Round the side, round the side. Again, unmistakably 500. It's quite thick, it's got a nice little chunky stance on it. It's a bit like a remote control car. It's wider than the standard 500 and you can feel that when you're driving, I'm told. Haven't had a go yet. Back here, pretty good sized boots. Should we go inside? Let's. Ooh, it's horrible out there but it's nice in here. Welcome to the inside of the 500 electric. Look at that. I've got a button instead of a door handle. Woohoo! No transmission tunnel, lots of room for activities down here. Love this two-tone, two-spoke steering wheel. So Italian, so iconic, but really nice to use and really nice to hold. Big 10.25 inch touchscreen for this top spec model. I think you get like an eight inch screen in the lower spec and then just a phone holder on the base spec car. You also get this lovely weavy stuff here. This is a wireless phone charging port. It's got the Torino skyline on it. And inside the little door pockets, there's a little cutout of a classic Cinquecento. Love that. Also on this top spec car, beautiful leather seats with the Fiat logo embossed, stitched. Is that embossed? You're a boss. Thank you. This weird, slightly narrow little cubby space in there. We've got a little glove box in here. This is Fiat 500. I love it. Physical buttons. Let's talk about those. Physical buttons along here. These are really nice to use and you can actually still use them when you're on a bumpy road or when it's dark at night. And that is something you can't do with a top screen. It's absolutely lovely in here. It's not ultra futuristic tech fest like the Honda e. It's not conventional, conventional car like the Mini Electric. It's somewhere in between the two. It feels familiar in here, but also a little bit special. I like it. So, Colbert. Yes, Jack. We've been driving this car for a few minutes now. What's yes. jumping out to you? What do you think about how Mate, it's Mate, I mean, I know for a fact, that generally speaking, I'm quite easy, easily impressed. You get excited I about I do stuff. get excited about stuff, but especially when something like this is already on my mind and it's something I'm already considering, so far, the experience is amazing. It feels really refined. Like, yeah. it's well built, everything about it. The steering is amazing, super light, so easy to drive, and this is exactly what I need it for daily runarounds, commuting. I've not driven it just yet, but I 
I had a quick go when we were just parked up earlier and the steering is ultra light, like such a perfect city car yes. driving experience. Mm. And you're right, the materials in here, I mean, we are in the top spec model here. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've got the leather seats and the fancy kind of weave on the dash, but it's beautiful. The fit and finish is really nice. Would you describe it as a fun car to drive? Because I know you're a driving nerd. You want to you Shall, want we? To feel... Shall we have a go? Wait, how do you change the mode? This little boy down here. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not slow. That's good. It's yeah, plenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So normal mode. Where is the mode? Normal. There we go. We're in normal. Okay. We're just going to floor it. Let's see. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, mate, that's okay, quick. Okay, okay. I mean, that's not too yeah, bad. I like that. I mean, you do, it wouldn't need to be any faster than that. We've no. Got, what, 120 horsepower in this? What I really like about this car is that if you've got a bit more money, you can get a really nice one like this with the fancy materials and the big battery. But the entry level car, which with the grant, 20 and a half thousand pounds, is is a proper, proper little budget electric car. I'm sorry, but 20 grand for a fully electric car with the latest tech, this is this is a bargain in my it's, opinion. There's not much there's not much else for that sort of money. No. It's worth mentioning in that entry level twenty and a half thousand pound car, we don't get the big fancy touchscreen, you just get a phone holder. Correct. Fine by me. Absolutely. I quite like that actually. Your phone is the best infotainment that there is. You also won't be getting the fancy leather and all this stuff and the range will be 118 miles instead of 199. I mean, I just like that you have the option. There's the cheap one with the smaller range, which is a real proper bargain. Or if you want a properly premium little city electric car, you can have the posh one. Which one would you go for? Oh, you know, I do love me some fancy toys. And what mainly appeals to me about the more expensive models is 200 miles of range in a little city car. That's the big. The Honda Re and the Mini Electric are what, like 120, 130 on a good day? And they're how much? They're like 30 grand, are they not? The Honda Re is about 30 grand. Yeah, yeah. I think the yeah. Mini is in the mid 20,000s. Probably should have memorized these things before. Well, the fact of the matter, you get a lot more range. Mm -hmm. You get similar styling. I think it's, I, I almost prefer this, especially when you consider how much this is. 20 grand. I know that's the entry point, but I would definitely go for the Icon, which is the third one up, I think. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at £25,000, I think, for the Icon, knocking if I'm not 5, mistaken. 5000 off the Honda E for another twice as much range, basically. Exactly. Do you know what? Controversially, as much as I enjoy the wall of screens in the Honda E, this one central infotainment system... Does it all. ...works better. We've got no transmission tunnel in, so I can just... If I want to touch your leg with oh. my leg, I can do that. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. I just wanted to touch your leg. But thanks. Thanks, Jake. One thing I have to point out that is really, really bugging me. Okay. I mean, really bugging Go me. On. It's my left leg. Well, the, that's not the car's fault, is it? No, it's the, it, it is. You were born with that. I'm going to show you right now a, a, an overlay of my feet. Where do I put this? Oh, you've got no space Mate, for your little it, footsie. Literally, it, it's, it, it, it's so uncomfortable oh, for the left leg. That is an oversight. Mm. That is an oversight. That's is, uh, that's my only comp look, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's it's really yeah it's just it's okay. annoying. Duly noted, you do need that nice little footrest for your left foot, especially you in, just in need a, a bit of two space. pedal car like this. Yeah. So I think that's my only complaint. Ooh, rental e-scooters. Well, Fiat, if you're watching this, congratulations! You've just converted a man from a snarling V8 Mercedes into a little electric city car. Uh, converted. You're going to keep the mark, aren't you? Yeah. Well. <laughs> I suppose this is progress. Mate, you need to drive this thing. I think I should. I want you to. Should we switch? Have we got time to switch? Yeah. At a red light. No, we're going to go. Oh, yeah, mate, go. 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 Switch your room. Oh. <laughs> Seatbelt. Seatbelt. We're turning right, yeah? Okay. Oh, super select. Mate. All right, here we go. Go, 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 yeah, go, go. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Oh, 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 <laughs> I didn't even floor it much, but that is oh. quick. Oh, mate. Well, I think we'll probably wrap it up there because we're gonna have to go give this thing back in, oh God, 15, five minutes. We need to go back. We need to go back. Uh-oh. Um, go, go, go. But thank you very much for watching. We're going to do a proper review on this car when we get a chance to spend some proper time with it. This was just a little first drive. We'll just do it in Cole's one when he buys one. Oh yeah, we can do that. I forgot. Well, there you go. Do you want Perfect. to wrap things up, Cole? Thank you for watching Electroheads. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out our Instagram and we will see you very soon. Ciao!